Hello and welcome to Tax TV. Now, let's see, you all know me and I've got young Caleb on. Uh, Caleb, always a pleasure to have you on, mate. Thank you. Um, not a problem. I mean, we'll we'll briefly go across Charlton game. I mean, we lost 2 note. Really, you know, we ate crossbar a couple of times. What we're worrying for me as well is that Josh Benson's picked up another injury. He's out for about six or eight weeks. So, again, is it a, a game we... We possibly we could have drew against Charlton, uh, Caleb. Well, we had enough chances, we just didn't take them. Hmm. I think that's been the story, and it, uh, you know, corners, set pieces, crossbar twice, Devante Cole going away, one of them, one shot clear off at line. And I think if we'd have come away with a point, you know, a draw at Charlton, I think it'd have been a decent result. Would you, would you say the same? Yeah, but it's just always our defence. Yeah, we're going to get on about defence in a minute. I mean, it, we had to make changes at back. Obviously, Tom Edwards always picked up an injury and gone back to Stoke. So, Josh Benson more playing at right wing back role with Jordan Miller has been moved into, you know, into uh, middle. I, I kind of get it a bit. We've got players what's come in, like Max Waters. We'll get on about him in a minute. But again, it's players coming in what are not match fit, and that's a that's a bit of a worry, uh, Caleb. Mm, we just we have a lot of injuries picking up, We're picking up a lot of injuries. It's concern- yeah, it's concerning because you know it's Josh Benson. Like I say, he, he's out now, um, and it's getting to the stage now. That it's going to be at back three. It's going to be Mads Anderson, Liam Kitchen. And it's a question mark. We're going to play via. We'll get we'll get on about Accrington game, and we'll come on to you know players about that. But Accrington coming up at all well. I mean Boxing Day, so it's only a couple of weeks ago. We we drew one apiece for you. What what's your take on Accrington? Do you do you think it's a, a winnable game for us, Caleb? Yeah, we're just conceding a lot of penalties. Um. We just calm down on the tackles. Uh, step up in defence. Step it up. That's what would, what would you, what would you like to see change come Accrington game? What, what, what difference at a side would you want to see? What would you see a more attacking, more pressing? What, what would you like to see? I think the more defensive because. Well, that can be in every game. And who do you think is going to be a key player at bat for us? Mads Anderson, possibly? Yeah. He's always getting stuck in. Not scared. Just everybody else was letting us down. I mean, it's weird, isn't it? Because we, we went through a stage where we weren't conceding goals. Um you know, we we're pretty tight at back at defence and stuff. And then for some reason we haven't been scoring goals. And then at the same respect of not scoring goals, we've also we've been conceding. So we've been letting in two or three goals a, a game. Uh, just going back on uh, what I've got here. Uh, Bolton, I know we lost three note. Derby again, I know it was FA Cup, but we lost three note. And Charlton, two note. So again, it's, it's finding that. Games to score in. I mean, Accrington won one away at Accrington. Um, it was one of them kind of games, like you said, very early on about penalties, conceding penalties. So it's for me, it's about taking his chances. I don't know what you think or your thoughts are about the lineup uh, for Accrington game, but would you make any changes? Would you, you know, would you make any changes for injuries or? You know, up up front, would you bring Norwood back in? Well, yeah, Norwood is. He just doesn't show his full. Well, what he can do, he doesn't show it. Same way, Cole. We know he has some pace, but he just doesn't use it. Would you agree? What some people have been saying, Caleb, about Devante Cole is that he went through a bit of a. a I was almost a purple patch, but he went through a bit of a. A stage where he was seemed to be scoring goals and confidence was starting to come. But do you think he needs to start, you know, even if he got a goal or no matter how he got it, an edit or a deflection, 
Do you think he's lacking confidence? Do you think it's it's that when a striker's like not gone uh, through games and we haven't scored goals, they, they, it, it knocks your confidence. Do you think it's a bit confidence that, that uh, Devante needs? Yeah, just he's gone down, he's lacking. He's acting like a midfielder, always getting back, but not scoring enough goals for a striker. Hmm. That's a good point, but I mean, we brought a, a new uh, guy in, Max Waters. Uh, came on for half an hour at Charlton. Again, is I didn't really see much into it. If I'm being honest, it, you know, I know he's lacking match practice, but it's a striker that we've been wanting. Uh, all being well, he can come in and do a job for us. Um, but on about one player that's already in, another one what's already in, Barry um, came in, a right wing back. Don't really know much about him. He's got rave reviews. Apparently, there are a few clubs interested in him. Uh, Barry Cotter. Is he a player that you know much about, uh, Caleb? I think... Where does he play, that one? He played at Shamrock Rovers in Ireland. Uh, he came over in here to loan spell at Ipswich. But uh, I've listened to interviews and stuff like that, and he seems, a, he seems a, a player that just wants to come in and play football, which I think we as Barnsley fans, that's all we need, isn't it? Commitment and to be enthusiastic yeah. playing for Barnsley. Um, all being well, I know he's going to be lacking match fitness and that, so <laughs> again, he came up to speed. Is there any other areas at pitch or in team, Caelan, that you'd like to see us go out and strengthen? Would you, you know, any more players to come in? What, what would you like to see happen? I think we've got a good midfield, but they just when they get up, they don't get back. But but when they get back, they don't get up. Mm. The favorite thing is to get up. They need to work on getting back. They need to. I think it should be a defensive uh, formation. Mm. So, is in defensive formation. When you say defensive formation, is in cover. So, for injuries and suspensions, like, is that what you mean? Yeah, we, I think we need to get more players in because we're get, picking up a lot of injuries. We won't have enough players soon. Hmm. Good point. I mean, Jasper Moon was going out on loan. Conor McCarthy, he's out injured for a season. Uh, like I said, Tom Edwards has gone back. So, Josh Benson's out injured. Luke Thomas is in training. So, he's still out injured at minute. So I get where you're coming from with that on that uh, respect. Uh, would you? Would do we need any more strikers? Do we need? Uh, you know, you've highlighted that you like to see defensive side sorted out. Strikers? Would you like to see another striker come in to just give that uh, other option? Yeah, because um, we've got good strikers, but they don't want to show it. it sometimes in some games, it's it seems like they don't care. They just want to. Play get off the pitch. They just wanna. They don't care. But sometimes they're enthusiastic and they're ready for the game. Mm. I think. I think that could be as well. I, I don't know what what we all feel about this. Is that I think they're frustrated as in their own uh, play that things are not just going their way. We've seen frustration with penalties conceded, like you said earlier on. Uh, frustrated about not scoring goals and, and taking chances. So I think they're, frust they're starting to get frustrated right now that things are just not happening. And I think all being well come the Sackington game, it might come, you know, at a time where if we, you know, we get a win, whether it's performance or results, I think once we get this win at home, I think the confidence and the belief will start to come again because we went on a, a fairly decent run from October. I mean, Duff got manager at the month twice, you know, November, November and December, uh, December. So that says a lot about him. I think my my view on it, I think Barnsley will win this. And I think Barnsley will win this 3 1. Barnsley. Uh, I'm thinking 2 1. You're thinking 2 1. I'm thinking that. We need to obviously we need to see what side gets put out, but I I don't know what it is. I just think we feel that I've, there's a performance and a there's a performance and result due our way. Um, chances we we creative and just not going in. We need to be more clinical, and I think that's been worked on. 
Uh, a set piece is, again, what we said earlier, we're not taking any chances from corners and free kicks. We've got some height inside, so we start to use it. So I'm going 3 1. You were saying 2 1, Caleb, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Um, people that's going to be going, enjoy the game. You know, Atkinson fans have a safe journey. Um, all being well, it's a balance of win um, and get the ball rolling again for those Reds because we need it. Uh, we need to start putting some goals in the back at net. Because uh, end of the day, you got to, to win a football game, you got to score score goals, and also be the tight in defence as well. So, Caleb, as all oh, before you go, um, who do you think will be his most important player on the day for Barnsley? I think it'll be one of our strikers. But think because, one of strikers. They'll make a big part of that scoring goals, probably. I don't know. Is no wood in? Is no wood? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think he'll be in. Yeah, yeah. You're going no wood. I'm going to say Luca Connell because I think it's a game that he needs to dictate, and I think he needs to pick up ball from defence and start things going and, and creating. Uh, and I think it could also be key on his corners and his free kicks if we get some. So you're going Norwood, I'm going Luke O'Connell. Uh, but we both can agree on it's going to be a bouncer win, fingers crossed. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Caleb, it's always been a pleasure having you on. I appreciate it, mate. Uh, I think we all know what it is. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>